Lovely line. Yeah, I'm on the way for you. Yeah, so fishing back in London now. crossover between Oxford Circus, like Bond Street, all those places and you can just like find all the shops along Regent Street and not have to like meddle in like the whole chaos of like just being in the centre of London. So I quite like that aspect. And I guess I'm guessing where I'm going as well is not going to be too busy as in for the first place anyway. So that's fine. According to the sat map it says <laughs> Some girls trying to say hi, <laughs> but according to the sat nav, it said uh, Russell Bromley is six minutes walk from Oxford, Cir Oxford Circus Station, so it shouldn't be too long. But you do have to wait quite a bit between like red lights and stuff like that because there's just a bit of a queue to like cross the road. Just as long as people aren't coughing in my face, like it's all good. I hope you can hear me. I feel like a princess. Oh, an independent princess. Oh, oh. H&M have a homeware store. I didn't even know that. Oh, I love the Christmas lights. Apparently, do you know what? I should have gone to Primark first. <laughs> I should have gone to Primark first. I felt, I feel like that level of chaos. Should I? Uh, Oxford Circus, Marble Arch, or Tottenham Court Road. I need the exercise. So, you know, maybe I'll just... Uh, Marble Arch is a bit of a stretch though, isn't it? Sorry, I can see the TV journalist. Um, I've not got much to say. Uh, okay. They're just really pretty. That's good. Yeah. All right. Okay. If you want me to say that, I can say that. Yeah, sure. Do you mind? Oh, okay. That's right here. Um, okay, fine. Picking um, just images for yourself. Uh, um, no, I do YouTube. YouTube. Okay. So, are you a vlogger? Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, 
It's, um, have you cut, is this the first time coming to see the lights? Yeah. Alright, so we're with AMC. Oh, look at this. Are you live? Oh, um, what do you think of the lights and how do they, how do you, they make you feel? Is it the spirit of Christmas or how is it? Yeah, it feels, it feels nice. It feels much more like they're really pretty. Yeah. And what do you think it is? Is it a particular time of year that it brings the feelings, like the sense of Christmas or how would you describe them? Um, yeah, they're not around all year. So I particularly came out this evening to just have a look and see what the thing was this year. Um, I didn't notice the ones like in front of me and stuff like that, um, but they're really pretty. So yeah, it definitely does bring the Christmas girl. Yeah. Thank you. Anything else? You want to add anything else? No. And why are you filming them? Oh, I do YouTube as well. So I'm a YouTube vlogger. Uh, so yeah, I came out to get some good shots of the lights <laughs> and just do some Christmas shopping for my mum as well. Okay. So, and yeah. what do you think of the crowds? Um, I feel like it's not as bad as I thought it would be, but I think rush hour hasn't started yet. So I'm trying to like rush before rush hour starts and then yeah, make my way through. Good luck. All right, <laughs> cheers. Bye. Bye. Down to Harmony Street, and very, very the lights here are so like so queer. That's all I want to say. Like they're just like proper queer right now, and it's just nice. It's just nice. It's such a shame that I have to go to like Prime Park and be here. in my face it's like start to get shiny very shiny oh and i'm going to to some concert in hackney later today i'm gonna head to primark and get some basic basic things i feel like there's a certain way you've got to walk when you're in Oxford street because like it's not people who just barge you like you're nobody me i'm somebody who yeah i don't want to be like barged anyhow so I feel like my presence just has to be felt and like I'm not going to look directly at people but I'm still going to be nice There's some flowers here You know what yeah, this is how I end up spending money I don't want to be spending And I feel like a lot of the guys that are like checking me out are like half my age And I'm just like <clears throat> Stop looking at me. Sort of. It's nice to be what. Anyway. Stop. I went to boot. It was so hot in there. I went to the boot on top of the road to do a return for some Fenty makeup that I bought that I don't even like. Not because I don't like Fenty, but I feel like Too Faced just works like a lot better on my skin. And I get like that coverage that makes me feel like I've arrived, even when I haven't, I'm just like doing casual bay, you know, we're out here sort of thing. Bro, man, you've got to be like hardcore ham to survive on these streets of London. I not even cross the road self because I feel under pressure to be walking with like so many people going in the same direction as me. So I went to Boots and now I'm on my way to Primark to like try and get some of the stuff that I need to get and then I'm gonna go to a little party and shake my little waist later I'm excited about that also this the lights here aren't that great they're not as nice as the ones in Carnaby Street but let me just show you what I'm seeing
actually this is giving me Tottenham Court Road vibes so I'm not gonna lie it's quiet it's dead no one really is back on this side of the town you know if this was the other side I feel like it would be a bit more high come here if you want a quiet shop and most of the shops here you can get from like anywhere anywhere so I really wouldn't be coming to like leave my house for this I feel like I can hear afro beats as well yes so my ears are working Gucci bag and the baby and the Andy yes my ears are working today so we're about like two minutes from Primark and I just like London isn't that diverse I, I, I feel like oh I'll be feeling different vibes and stuff but it's just very English it's very English I really hope Primark have these slippers that I'm after and I'm so like excited to actually go out and party today and be in a tracksuit and be like yo okay cool I'm not wearing like a tight ass skirt and a top and like heels I'm just like yeah I went to the ceremony just kind of sat there I was waiting for it yeah now about to enter the jungle. So I actually used to work in this branch, believe it or not. Oh look at them being all trendy now. Yeah, so I'm just gonna be polite and like economically friendly and take the stairs. It's so, quiet. so we came here for our slippers for me and my mum and pajamas. Mm. Pajamas. Mm. Cozy socks. Quiet in here. Maybe I came on the right day. Oh god. Why are Primark selling Greg's clothes? Sorry. Can you see that behind me? That is weird. I actually have a Greg's in Primark. is my I'm done face so basically I'm done like I'm done I'm not even speaking loud enough but I'm done oh, I am done okay so literally just got out of Primark and I found the shoot the slippers just about in my size because my feet is shrinking so I found my size but I didn't have my mum's size so I don't know I'm gonna have to order it yeah. for her I don't know like crocs and stuff they look they seem to be quite comfortable maybe I'll just get her a pair of crocs in her size so I'm just gonna actually try office now and see if I can get her some crocs in her size but this is such an inefficient way to like shop generally speaking like hopping from one place to another with different aesthetics across a long road when I could just be at home oh god I'm just checking now I don't know if they'll have anything they like it for her I don't 
they only have like odd style like flip flops and um I should have shown you them I'm sorry but they only have that style and I know how my mum is I can't go and buy her like <laughs> 100 pound flip flops or whatever for her to come around and turn around and tell me that she don't like them or she's not wearing them no some of our parents you don't you don't buy a designer for them you don't buy them you just listen to what they say sometimes and if they say that this is what they want that's what you do for their life you just get them whatever they feel is comfortable enough for them in their budget so that's what i'm doing but at least the trip to Primark wasn't wasted because I would have been like actually pissed off if I'd gone to the store and it wasn't there. I'm actually now going to Regent Street to to do what? Oh yeah, to get my mum's bag. And then maybe if I can. Ooh, baby. There's an Elizabeth line. Can you see it in the corner? There. That means money is coming, like money is officially coming into the East London economy where like gentrification obviously is already happening in the East but it's, it's going to now like grow to a proportionate amount and just stand and the pavement so money is like significantly going to be coming to like East now that's exciting! That's very exciting! Hmm. Um, I might have to rethink my investments here. I'm just like, how can you come with your family to the centre of London? Like, I know obviously it's a day out and stuff, but I remember when I used to come here as a child. I used to hate it. Maybe because I'd be scared that um, my mum will leave me. <laughs> oh, these traumas of mine. But yeah, just like I'll get left somewhere, then I won't know how to get back home. I wouldn't know how to like, you know, get back home. Not knowing that she's sitting somewhere in some corner watching us. And I'm like, it's just different behaviour. But maybe until I have my own kids, I will never understand obviously why she operated the way she did. But it just created a necessary anxiety for me. Yeah, you just do what you do, don't you? They sound louder than me, but it's alright, it's alright, but I'm like midway through Tottenham Court Road now. Still got a bit of a walk, so watch me do this and I'll catch you when I'm in Russell and Bromley. I just needed a couple snacks because like, this walk is actually kind of a workout. I'm not even going to lie, it's actually a workout and it's raining. I just feel like carrying an umbrella is, is a worse, like there's no need. I feel like I'll just get wet or not because I just can't deal with the extra weight and my hands are busy. <gasps> Guys, we, we are here. We are here. I'm ready for boozycentral.com. Okay. Please, please, please let me have this bag. Hi. Okay, so it's here. Let's see. I think it's this one that she says she wants. I don't know, man. Me, yeah, I'll get the real like Chanel bag. I think it's this one. So this is the bag that my mum has been hounding in the whole world that she needs it. And you know, obviously, Ghanaian parents, all they're taking it to is funerals. That's all they're doing. Can you imagine? Just in Spanish to go and uh, see someone die. This is her loss. Brand new ones in the back, was it just no? This is our very last one. I think. I'll go and check. The only other one I think is that one, but do double check whether that one. Yeah, thank you. Hopefully, no one else gets it for her. I just have to do my like full scan for Barbara, you know, 
examination <clears throat> NHS GPs won't even be doing this this level of examination on people these days either take it or leave it Sha. take it or leave it Sha. so we have decided which one we're going for and I feel like hmm. even though it's not for me is what it is Cheers. Do you have an article? Mm, I had one years ago, but. Should I see if it's an assistant? Yeah, you can do it. Sure. If there's any sign up. Yeah. If I see if I see it's for the Yeah. 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 I'm gonna have to drop the bag at my cousin's house because I can't carry it around. I was just thinking I'll get it in the dust bag and go, yeah, but. Okay, so that's 275, so you buy cards? Yeah. I'll ask her, see if that's okay. Would you like a good machine as well? Uh, yes, it is. Yeah. There you go. Cheers, thank you so much. Evening. You too, bye. bye. So we've got the bag. The bag is all sorted. And now we are heading to Hackney's. Because that's where everything keeps it rural. And we're going to go party. But I think I'm going to go through like Piccadilly Circus today because I can't be bothered to deal with the Ox Oxford Circus like traffic and stuff. And it's starting to rain as well. So I'm a bit like, oh. But yeah, let me message my cousin and see if I can leave the stuff at her house. Actually, you know what? To be fair, there'll be a cloakroom there as well, actually. So yeah, it should be alright. I'm going to the thing but I'm not going to stay for too long because I just feel like even going back down to South London it's, nah, it's, it's a mission like let's keep it real it's actually a mission so I'll stay maybe for an hour or two if it gets proper lit then you know maybe I'll stay for longer <laughs> jaye jaye and all that but uh, right now oh I think I need to go and work <laughs> Oh, this is what I mean about rush hour. London Overground is part of the service between Yeah, so I'll hit you guys up in a bit. I just feel like I've left at the wrong time of day and I don't know if I've got the strength for this lifestyle. I need to get back to the village life, man. I'll catch you guys soon. Alright, So, I'm walking. I'm walking to get the overground to Hackney. Hackney, Hackney. Um, I'm smelling my wrist, yeah? Like I smell like a million dollars, like I actually smell fresh. But then I'm like, this is not the scent that I thought I was wearing. So, so um, I'm smelling this scent, I'm smelling the scent. And I'm like, this is not the scent for this outfit. I'm actually like, I sprayed the wrong fragrance. Then I'm thinking, okay, cool, so what fragrance am I supposed to be wearing? It's a Cuban fragrance. And the things in my car. So I'm like, no wonder I'm getting these looks and stuff like that. I'm just thinking, what is going on? This stairs are killing me today, boy. Yeah, so back to my story. So I think we were in a scent from Cuba today. 
to like match with my evening je ne, je ne sais quoi. but it's not happening it's not actually happening but yeah it's my fault so next time i'll have to make sure and i'll get the like scent of the fragrance that i actually wanted to put in on here today so you'll see um but yeah i'm about like 20 minutes away from where i'm going so i'm looking forward to like seeing what the vibe's gonna be like you know all that stuff Oh, my God. 